Well, early in our marriage, we heard a sermon by our pastor then, and it was on tithing. And it was a concept we had never heard of, we had never practiced it, so it was new to us. But we went home that day really challenged, really, and convicted that our finances really belong to God. So we prayed about it together. We were both working at the time. We were young. We had just purchased our first home. But after praying about it, we decided that's what God wanted us to do. So we began tithing. Eight months later, I would have to quit my job from complications with our first pregnancy. And then two weeks later, the company that Don worked for went out on strike for four months. So now we had nothing to give to God. It could have been a time where you press the panic button, but instead uh, we just prayed and said, God, whatever you bring into our home, we will honor our tithe to you. And I think we were both amazed in all the ways that God took care of us. I think that um, when, you, when you talk about the blessing God gives you, it's not always financial either. Sometimes you just, your life is just good and coasting along and you're lawnmower doesn't break and your car doesn't need a muffler or a, pair, a set of tires or something and it just kind of goes along and sometimes you do have problems this you know tithing doesn't mean you'll never have an issue anymore um, but, but what we always did was when we when you give money first um, it's like it's not yours anyway in 47 years God has given us the opportunity to do other things you know beyond a tithe gifts you know and way to to give to others and see the need in that, and that's beyond a tithe. And that, that does the same thing. It brings such joy into your life. There's no fear in life when you live like that. that you know you're in a trust relationship with Him, and He's gonna take care of you when you put Him first.